Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel, we're back in the 1.17 survival world and today we are going to be exploring some new things that were added from yes, a snapshot. Not all of them was added into uh, survival mode, it's an ongoing theme uh, for these snapshots, they get added as testing for creative players um, or creative mode and then they will obviously be added to survival mode at a later date. So, there was a few things that was added to survival mode which was the um, ability for drowns to drop copper ingots. So it is now possible to kind of farm copper ingots, but at the same time not farm them. Because there's like a 0.05% uh, chance of them a drown dropping a copper ingot. So it's a very, very low chance. And with looting, there is a 0.01% multiplier um, on top of that. And it might be a 0.5 instead of a 0.05. I'm not too sure. So that is that. Um, there's also some things with powdered snow that will change. Like they can be pushed by pistons. Foxes can now walk on them. Um, obviously we got all the lush caves items. But they're not survival mode. They're creative. And we also got the ability for skeletons to um, get turned into strays when they freeze. So... Uh, skeletons turn into drowns when they freeze. Actually, it makes us uh, actually allows us to make a um actually allows us to make a drat nope a sh easy stray farm. They're not really that useful. Um, apart from they dropped slowness arrows instead of uh, normal arrows. So if you'd rather slowness arrows over normal arrows, then you can do so now. Um, quite easy. If I find my skeleton farm. It is somewhere down here. I know, I, but I can't remember where. I remember it being like, uh, okay, here it is. And if I go down here, we should bump into it somewhere. Uh, maybe down this one. Right, so guys, while digging around for my skeleton farm, I found some diamonds. Um, I didn't expect to find these. How many are here? There are four. And the easy way um, I'm going to show you guys how to find things when they're in the ground is by turning on, um, if I go to settings, video, view bobbing. Make sure that's on. And then basically just go into third note, this perspective, so you can see the back of your head, and run. And as you can see, you clip through the ground. So I now know my skeleton farm is just here. As you can see, I've now broken into it. So that is an easy way of how to find things. Uh, just if you know roughly where they are, go roughly down to like bedrock level and then just dig um, uh, two by two enough for you to run round and then just run through it and you should find it. As as you can see, I have done so. So this is a skeleton farm. There is a skeleton spawner just up there. If I can find it to show you guys, uh, maybe if I dig through here and then dig up, it should be... Um, just above me, yeah, as you can see, it's right here. There's a skeleton spawner right there, which obviously does what spawners do. Spawns mobs, and because it's a skeleton spawner, it spawns skeletons. And I'm pretty sure you guys all know that by now. Um, and then obviously the skeletons will spawn and drop down here. And all we have to do is put a snow block right there. I will obviously have to get another one. I didn't realise it was a two drop. I thought it was only a one drop. And then he should freeze now that he's in that block. Sadly... They do still take, uh, strays that still do take freezing damage. So, maybe there's a way I can, like, push that back and forth with pistons, like, on a timer or something. Um, but I'm not sure. So, uh, they do still take freeze freezing damage, which is sad. So, they will eventually die if you don't kill them. But if we just wait a few seconds, let's just, like, walk around. This, uh, was never actually finished. Um, I didn't actually get to finish it. I was going to add like item sorters behind these to sort it out. So arrows, um, then bones, then random junk like uh, bows and all that would go into there. I did used to have a nether portal that led down here, but it linked up with another nether portal. So I just removed it. And as you can see, it is now spawning. And there is actually a sound. Let me just turn it all the way up. I'm guessing it'd be in with uh, hostile creatures. Let's just turn it up and let you listen to the sound. So guys, you heard the sound. It's quite a cool sound. Um, it's different to what uh, sound effects we've had in the past. 
So let me now turn that back down and turn that back down a bit. There we go. And as you can see, it does work. And now I have got some um, different arrows, which I don't ever use slowness arrows because they can never take advantage of infinity. So if you're a mending person, you can now farm uh, slowness arrows if you want slowness arrows. Uh, pretty easy. You don't have to build like an individual stray farm. You can now build one out of a skeleton farm and just put powder snow and they will drown. Just like zombies do. Uh, the husks drown into zombies, I think. And then zombies dr uh, drown into drowns. Uh, is that right? Husks drown to zombies, zombies drown to drowns. I think that's right. I may be wrong. And as you can see, we now have slowness arrows. So that is pretty good. That is a change that was made in this snapshot. And it's quite a good change, to be honest. Uh, a change that I did expect them to do. I just hope they now make it so um, the drowns don't, uh, not the drowns, the strays don't freeze. Because a mob that is made of ice freezing don't really make sense. Right, so guys, I am now at a drown farm. And as you can see, there are a few drowns in here. So there are no copper ingots in here. They will no longer drop I, uh, gold ingots now. Because obviously they have their new loot pool to drop uh, copper. And copper ingots have replaced gold. So if I kill them, I'm most likely not going to get a copper ingot. But it's worth a try. So let's just collect up all this XP that we can get. And see. Okay. Oh my god. We got three. We got three. We got six. No way did we get six. Maybe this is a good way to farm copper. What? I did not expect to get six. That is only like one and a half blocks. Uh, yeah, it is. It's one and a half blocks, which is not bad. Literally, there weren't even that many drowns in there. If I can make a way to make them like not entity cram, so I can AFK for long, long periods of time, we could have loads of copper in minutes. When I looked into the loot pools, they were quite rare to get. Unless I was looking at the wrong loot pools, which could be a possibility. Um, but that didn't seem rare at all. I got six from about, I don't know. How many drowns have I actually killed? Right, so guys, just a little stats update. Uh, you can see, quickly see all my stats. I've killed one axolotl, never been killed. I'm not going to go through them all. You guys can see them. Oh my god, 263 places. I just want to see how, what is the most mobs I have killed. Um, what type of mob? Um, 125 chickens? What? Uh, creepers have killed me 20 times. Uh, 1,800 creepers. Um... 2,000 drowns. Okay, so at the moment, drowns are winning. Uh, oh my god, 5,000 endermen. That is my enderman farm. It is quite OP. Um, and what mob have I died to the most? Let's see. Um, 3,000 guardians. Okay. Uh, how many? I've never died to a guardian. Uh, so at the moment, 3,000 is, is that the most? No, 5,000 is the most. Okay, so 5,700. 100, 21, 400, 1,000 pillagers. Right, so guys, the winning mob that I have killed the most of is surprisingly the Wither Skeleton. I have killed 6,126 Wither Skeletons, which I didn't realise I had killed nowhere near that many. That is surprising, even for me. Oh my god, I've died to zombified piglings 10 times. So now let's see what mob I have died to the most. So guys, creepers have killed me the most. So I've killed the most wither skeletons. And creepers have killed me the most by 20 times. Which isn't that bad. I had thought I had died a lot more than that. Right, so guys, that is enough looking at stats um, for now. If you guys are interested in more of my stats from the world, let me know and I might show more off. Um, but I'm surprised that wither skeletons are the most uh, killed mob. But... I'll show you why in a second, because someone was actually asking for a wither skeleton farm. So, I'll show that off in a second. What is this cow doing? There's one cow to the cow, cow counter. Kill counter, cow counter. Whatever you want to call it. Right, so guys, I was uh, uh, thinking, I was keeping my copper ingots in my shulker box. And, because they are technically an ore, although they're not used like most, most other ores. Like making armors, tools, upgrading uh, armor or tools, or in Emerald's case, use it as a currency. 
These are used to make blocks and uh, spy glasses and stuff like that. A lightning rod. So I think I'm going to keep them in my storage system. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a storage system for everything 1.17. Um, I do need to add a few more things here. Uh, what were them things? Oh no, I have slabs and stairs. Okay, so that's okay. We don't need to add anything just yet. This uh, room is going to be massive by the end of 1.17. As we've got obviously all the uh, deep dark stuff, all the lush cave stuff. Um... I think that's it actually and then any, any like secret blocks they add, or items they add so I can quickly just send all this through the system and it should go through the system quite well most of it won't show up in chests as I don't you, you obviously need like uh, I think it's 41 of it, the item before it shows so uh, yeah it might not show just yet so let's pick that up and let's just ditch some of this rubbish out of my inventory so I have a bit more room. There we go. And now let that tick through. I'm going to quickly just go and make sure it is in the system properly um, before we leave. Do we have many of these? Oh, we do. Right, so guys, we are now flying. As you can see, our uh, never hub is literally just behind us. We're now flying in this sort of direction because this is where our wither skeleton farm is. We should come into a Tower of Neverack uh, pretty soon. I'm pretty sure the coordinates were for, like, here we go. Perfect. So now let's head down here because this is obviously how I've killed so many Wither Skeletons. If I quickly just head down, as you can see, it's still working, which is pretty cool. And no, 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 no. There we go. We got it. Uh, let's try and fireball that. Yes. Come on. Get out of here, Ghast. And it had to hit, didn't it? Uh, okay, another one. Oh my god, go away. There we go, that just passed straight through. And let's now kill it. There we go. No, I didn't kill it. Die. There we go, perfect. How many blocks did it break? Um, It broke one here. And uh, is that it? No, there's three blocks missing here, but I think these were already missing. I may be wrong. And also, no, 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 this is not good. Um, Also, guys, you may not know... But a fact about tinted... Was that another glass shoot at me? No. A fact about tinted glass, you don't actually need silk touch. As you can see, I'm using my hand. And I can actually break tinted glass and pick it up, as you can see. You don't need silk touch. You don't need a tool at all. You can literally just use your fist. So it's not like normal glass. Um, but anyway, this is our wither skeleton farm. How it works is the, they don't like picklings. So they spawn, obviously, because it's wither roses. And the change they made in 1.16 was... Only uh, wither uh, skeletons can spawn on wither roses. So they spawn on there. They make them way uh, to try and attack the pigling. Forgetting that trapdoors are not a full block. Fall down. Then they fall down to here. Which there's string um, where the observers are. Which then uh, powers these pistons. Which then pushes them down another layer. Which then tricks them into thinking. No this is not good. This is not good. I need to get out of there and smack that. There we go. That... Okay, I need to do some ghast proofing or something around here. Did that break much of the farm? No, I just got hit by one. How did he hit me? Um, I don't think it's broken anything apart from a trap door. But let me quickly just have a look. Right, so guys, it broke one trap door and a few bits of glass. But I have now fixed that. And I do need to maybe carry some tinted glass around in my inventory. Or my uh, ender chest. That might be a good idea. But anyway. So they then fall into that one. Which then they uh, try to get attracted to the pigling. Forgetting I might make that a free block hole. That might be better. Uh, which then uh, they run over that trapdoor. Fall down into this hole. And I AFK in here. Basically just. Was that another ghast? No. Basically just swinging my sword. And this is how I've killed so many wither skeletons. So I just sit here clicking. Every now and again, killing them. Like so. And then the uh, storage system is down here. Um, you guys may not know. Uh, I built this. I didn't build it that long ago. But um, obviously, there are some new people. So, is there any more wither skeletons? No. Uh, wither heads, I mean. No. Okay. So, but yeah. This is a pretty simple um, wither skeleton farm. The hardest thing you will need is the wither roses. And obviously you build it where the only place with us getting spawn is um, on the fortress.
Hey guys, welcome back. I have been gone for a few hours and I have AFK'd at our um, drowned farm. See how many ingots we can get, or copper ingots. Um, it's been about 12 hours, I think. Um, but I don't expect to have that many because they do entity cram. So let's see how many we have got. Let's quickly go through. And there's none even here. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I think I was AFK in, like, at the wrong place. We probably didn't get any. Uh, there's none in there. And there's one. Okay, we got one. That was a bit of a letdown. I don't know why none spawned. I think it was about, it must have been about 12 hours I was there afk for. Um, but, yeah, I will see what I can do about that. See why it may be us too far away from the farm. Maybe I might have to go underneath the farm and dig it up and make it a bit more flat or something. But I'll do all that between this episode and next. And hopefully by the next episode I would have AFK'd at this quite a bit. And got some um, copper ingots. If you didn't know, this is where our uh, farm is. Our base is literally just there. And this is where it is. Uh, is it because of turtle eggs? No, the turtle eggs are still there. So I might have to like flatten this out a bit more and build it up so that you can actually see this. But I'll do that off camera. So if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.